All right, guys, welcome back to Weekend Smile. I'm going to introduce my friend, Francesca. She don't talk much. I'm trying to just incorporate her into Weekend Smile, right? She's a little nervous, so bear with her, right? But, guys, she's here because full-figured fashion has evolved over the years with more stylish choices to be worn. And with us in studio today, along with Francesca, is Alicia Brown from Curves by Tina. And she'll share advice on how to be classy and fashionable and full-figured all at once. So welcome to Weekend Smile. Alicia, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Of course. So we have to talk about, you know, the evolution of full-figured fashion over the years, you know. Um, no longer are full-figured women feeling, you know, a little bit coward about their fashion choices and expressing themselves through fashion. So let's talk about what you've seen over the years. Well, the fashion industry has now recognized plus-size women. Let's use the term plus-size, so can understand better. Because back then, it used to be like small, medium, large, and just a few extra large. But right now, you can get sizes more than extra large. Like up to which, how much X we can get that size? You can get size up to 6XL. 6XL? Yeah. You're serious? Yes, you That's can get nice. fashion up to 6XL. That is nice. So let's talk about Curves by Tina. Who's Tina, by the way? My name is Tina. So how are your name Tina and Alicia at the same time? Well, the story with Tina is a name that I've always loved. It was actually, it's actually my cousin's name, okay. and I've always loved that name. So as I got older... It's like your cousin's name? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Seriously. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, you do a whole business out of it as well. Yeah. You know, but then why full figure fashion though? Like, why did you go in that way? I was walking behind two plus size women one day and one was telling her friend that she went into a store, like they were looking something and she couldn't find anything to fit her and she felt insulted mm -hmm. just by going in the store and the person saying that we don't have your size, we don't have your size. And uh, I was in my room and he just said, why not do plus size? I'm like, plus size? Because what I used to see for plus size is not what I wanted to do. Mm. So that's how it what all started. What did you want to see though for Full Figured Woman? <laughs> all of these things here, Trendy right? stuff, yeah. cute stuff, you know, things that women can wear, plus size women can wear and feel comfortable, confident, rather than just the, the stuff that's just hanging on the rack. All right. So um, let's talk about now the styling, right? So Full Figured Woman, what are we looking for in terms of style? What should we be paying attention to? Because, you know, a lot of us are bountiful in different areas. So, yeah, what should we be looking to? So with a plus size woman, now, depending on the area that you want to flatter most, for example, if you have a busty um, plus size lady, mm -hmm. a V-neck, V-cut, or a full wrap, that goes perfect for plus size women. And women who have the tummy yeah. area, yeah, the fufa, yeah. flared items, or anything with an, an A-line that gives you a more yeah. hourglass illusion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I love that. And let's talk about jeans, because sometimes, girl, when Beyonce, if you don't jump to put <laughs> jeans on, you don't feel my pain, I, I, I could relate, right? Because that's a problem with, with, you know, finding good jeans for women who have... A lot in, you know, wrong, you honest what I'm saying, yeah. right? Right. All right, so at Curves, what we do, we make sure that jeans that we bring in, when you put it on, you're going to be comfortable. It's not going to stop underneath your tummy. It comes right up High to waist, your navel. all the yes. time. So, Love that. And it feels good on your skin, so. Yeah. All right, so um, let's talk about matching the things, though, because, you know, there's a time when I was hearing that full-figured women should stay away from things like patterns and so my Francesca, but look how Francesca look nice in this dress though, honestly though, Francesca yeah. come out, you know, right? And she have on a nice floral dress and first time I'm telling you, you know, Francesca sizes, women who have size like her Francesca should never wear floral. Yeah, at Curves, um, it's just patterns. Yeah. Because... Normally, persons would come in and they'd ask for black, just black, just black, or plain colors. Nothing is wrong with having solid colors. But patterns, you can wear the patterns. Just get the one that goes Ooh, with your shape. Ooh, look at this one on the screen. Yes, this is nice. <laughs> Love that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, so tell us some more. You know, like, so, so, so the patterns are just patterns. You say, what about things like, you know, um, lines going vertically versus horizontally? Yeah. Right now, what they're telling women is to stay away from horizontal line because it makes you look wider. Right. It really doesn't. When you have on something with a horizontal line, there are things that you can wear, for example, like a belt or just to just bring to in the waistline. Yeah. yeah. So instead of just having this 
it gives you a, it gives you an illusion. Right. Yeah. All right. So I see as well. They have some trainers here. Uh, what do you call these? Um, shapers. Shapers. Right. <clears throat> From shapewear. Right. Okay. So, um, are we encouraging women, full-figured women, to basically, you know, get something like this under their clothes? Yeah. Okay. Depending on what they, for example, say you have a very nice dress and you want to look more smooth underneath the dress. Yeah. Different. Each shaper stands a different purpose. So if they're wearing a more body-hugging dress, they can wear a smoother. It just helps you to feel more sexy, mm -hmm. having something, having your garments stick to your skin. Because that, that one goes all the way down to the thighs, yes. I'm realizing, so you won't have that, that harsh cut-off somewhere. And it's smooth. If you have cellulites on your legs, right. it smooths it, it out. It smooths right? it out. Okay. All right. And the other one that looks like a... It has a, a typical underwear um, finish. Yeah, this one is very good for women who have thick thighs. Because mm -hmm. if you have really thick thighs, you don't want to... Your, your ties into me, a listen like I wouldn't even bother coming with say all me no would I just did they have a grasp for life yeah <laughs> it, this one is that. so this most of the um, ladies who have very thick ties I recommend this one for them okay noted right and this one here this is a full coverage so it covers the butt area the waist and yeah. the, the legs it does what these two do okay good I love that. I love that. Well, anything else that you want to tell us before we wrap up? All right. So like um, jeans, for example, just wear patterns. You wear can patterns. wear patterns. Okay. There are ways that you can wear the pattern. It accentuates your shape and you look fabulous and be confident in your curves. I love that. Be confident in your curves, That's ladies. That's our tagline. <laughs> yes. Be confident. In, I'm about that life. Where can we find you online? We are on Instagram at Curves by Tina Boutique and Facebook at Curves by Tina. All right, big up yourself. Tina, who stole the name Tina, <laughs> her name is really Alicia. And big up to Francesca. She didn't say anything at all during the interview. She's a little nervous. But big up to Francesca. Guys, follow her online, please, and check out all the amazing designs that she has. The finest of fashion and the best of style, regardless of your size. Right. Thank you again, Alicia. Alicia Brown of Curves by Tina. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm going to talk to Francesca and see if she can stay with us after the break.